Mike, you're going to be struggling for Arsenal then. Yes, he won't be available for selection this weekend, unfortunately. Um, you had Thiago Lori on, on the bench for the first time. Uh, is he in, in your thoughts in terms of starting soon? And, and if so, what do you, you see as his best position? Because he certainly arrived being seen as very versatile. Yes, and sometimes it's not a good. Um, it's not always good to to have to 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 be able to play in many positions in the field. Uh, regarding Thiago. Uh, He's also a player who struggled a lot the previous week with many light injuries. He didn't have full uh, week's training session for the moment. Then, uh, of course, he was uh, on the bench on the previous game, but uh, he needs to, to improve again his fitness to be a serious uh, contender, you say, for, mm. for the, for the, for Are the game. Some, still some way away from, from being able to start again. I wouldn't say he's uh, far away, but uh, at the moment uh, uh, I'm happy about the way he's coming back to his full fitness, but uh, probably he needs to, to do a little bit more before games, yes. How's Jack Grealish been this week? Like uh, all other players, training with the first team after the, his uh, under-21 games on Monday. And then Jack is back and uh, Jack is available for selection. Have you got the sense from what you've seen, and obviously you'll have spoken to him, that he has learned from, from what's happened and, and learned from his, his two weeks away from, from the first team? Only Jack knows that, you know. And uh, of course, um, I will be still very close of Jack because uh, he's a talented uh, young player. But uh, only, only Jack has the answer on, on your question. Is he in contention to start on, on Sunday? Yes, he is. He is like uh, 18 players or 20. Um, you probably would have watched Arsenal last night. I mean, incredible result away in the PR a pretty tough place to go. I mean, what, what did you make of, of the way that they went through? You know, they, they did very well. They coped very well with the pressure and the situation because uh, you can say, OK, Olympiacos is not uh, a very good team. You can say that only after the game, but uh, when you know that you have to, to score goals and uh, to win the game, it's a lot of pressure. You don't have, uh, you know, it's only about 90 minutes, not one more, then uh, they did very well. But uh, if you look at Arsenal playing away this season, they are very comfortable in the Premier League. Premier League, they have scored more goals away than home game, which tells you a lot about the, the possibility they've, they've got when they attack. Have you spoken to, to Arsenal since you've, you've been over here in the job at Villa? No, not, uh, not, uh, no, no. Did you, do you see any advantage at all in obviously having been at, been at Arsenal and know the way it works in preparing your team to, to face them this, this Sunday? Not really, to be fair, because uh, it was a long time ago, as you know, and. Uh, Everything has probably changed at Arsenal, except one. Uh, it's still a, a very, very good football club. Then, uh, of course, I know very well the team, the, the players, but uh, probably uh, we will need more than that to, to get points from this game. I think they can, they can win the title this year. How, how close do you think that they'll be come the end of the season? It's, it's uh, of course, it's a season where they can win the title, of course, I think that. Uh, I mean, it's a long way to do it. Uh, now they, they have qualified in the in Euro European Champions League. It will be another tough objective for them. And they will have to, to concentrate on both targets, which is quite difficult, but uh, City did as well. Then uh, maybe it's the year where, where they can fight for the title until the end, yes. Um, will you be asking your players or will you be reminding your players of, of how well they played against Manchester City and you, you'd like something like that again on Sunday and that might be a, a way of getting a, a positive result? Yes, you're right. Uh, I mean, uh, the City game and the Southampton game uh, can be remembered by the player, by me, by m all the club. The way we we go through this game was different on, on the, the way we, we went to Everton or, or the Watford game. I mean, the, the spirit, the collective spirit was quite different. And uh, we will need that, this uh, attitude on Sunday to 
uh, to have an opportunity to, to get points.